What's up everybody? Welcome back to Jeep TV. I'm Brett and today we're going to be working on LED lighting. We all know that the interior of your Jeeps are just that dull, just yellow look. Um, you get in there to look for your keys and stuff and you can't find anything. Um, you're, you know, you drop your cell phone. Anyways, we're going to fix that today. I've got all new LED lights we're going to be installing and I'm going to show you guys how to do it. Also, uh, the center console with your park neutral drive um, that light tends to be evidently the number one light to go out so we're going to replace it i'm going to show you guys how to do that and we're going to take a look at the front blinkers um, i'm going to try to swap those to led as well stay tuned i hope you guys enjoy this video if this is your first time here hit that like button and if you haven't already subscribe thank you guys so much here we go all right, let's quickly go over this light kit that I got. Um, these are LED. I'll post up in the comments where I got these and a link to them. But um, they're pretty daggone bright. Uh, so you have two that are going to go into your uh, front cab light. And then you have one that's going to go in the rear. And it does have a, uh, I guess, a heat shield on the back or it disperses the heat or whatever but um these are really really bright uh i did put them in the dirty turtle and they seem to be working well so we're gonna go ahead and throw these in my jeep um and we'll check those out and i'll show you guys how to install them i am using gloves um you don't really want to get you know your fingers or oil or anything on these i don't think it's gonna hurt them but i really uh just want to take a precautionary to uh you know get my fingers all over them and then not working um, the next set I bought is I got um, another set of LEDs. You know, this is for um, so there are other applications. Um, I, I don't know if we will get to use these, but um, this said that they will work in the Jeep. So I do believe these will work as well. And I'll post these up and I'm going to try these in mine. The next thing that I got is. Um, these right here are for your front dash, like your dash, like your speedometer and stuff, these little bitty LEDs, um, or they go in the floor. Um, so there's some floor lights that we're going to try to get these into, and I'll post these up. Um, they're supposed to be pretty bright. The next thing that I've already tried, this is a front blinker and or can be used for a rear tail light I do believe um, I've got it and I've been testing it in my Jeep and the uh, Southern Comfort but it does bring on a code so I'll probably end up shelving these and not using them um, I will show you guys the difference but what happens is it'll throw up a code and then it'll go into a rapid flash but um, other than that it still works they just blink really fast and then you get a ding and it tells you hey you've got a head or you've got a blinker out but you really don't um, basically, these are a lot more efficient, and your um, Jeep has got too much power going to them, so it just kind of doesn't know what to do, so it just shuts down. All right, guys, so the first thing you want to do is you're going to want to grab, the, and then you're going to peel it back just a hair. So you just kind of rock it pull back so anyways all right so these bowls have been on a minute they're not they're not too hot just want to get your little fingers in here it's gonna take you a second to get these out they're kind of tight all right so we got one out and they're actually in there very 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 tight so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna leave the one in there and then we will turn it on I'll show you the difference so let's get one of our LED bulbs. And we're gonna plug it up. And they are long. Oh. Right. Let's see. There you go. There's the difference. Now, I'm gonna go grab one of the other bulbs that we talked about that possibly could work. That way you can see the difference in the two. Um, so, halogen, LED, 
you can definitely tell the difference. All right, so to compare the two, I guess I'm just gonna touch this one. One is like a paperback style. Um, it's more like a circuit board and it's got some LEDs on it. This one is plastic all the way around with a set of LEDs all the way around it and one on the tip on the end. Um, and there's one on the end on this one as well. So what we're gonna, we're gonna go and put, put this one in. So we have one white LED and we're gonna do one of these black ones to test these. So I gotta get this uh, other halogen light out really quick. Slide this one in place. There we go. It's in there. Let's flick it on. There you go. So the one on the left is definitely still brighter than the one on the right. They do work. I just didn't have it lined in there properly. But um, so the two packs, I'll, I'll go ahead and post those up that you guys can check out. The brighter ones are going to be the plastic ones. But um, yeah, it's going to be really, really cool to get the whole Jeep done up in these. So yeah, the white, the black ones, white ones definitely win. This right here is with both of them in. Very, very bright. <laughs> it's gonna be freaking awesome. Um, so we'll go ahead and do the rear one and let you guys check that one out. Now for the rear on this one, um, you're gonna have to get like a knife or something on this side and then you're gonna pry it open. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that and try to do it with one hand. So you just get underneath here, you barely pry it open. It should come right out just like that just fold it back and then there's your bulb so you want to go ahead and it's kind of warm for me turn the lights on Woo! there we go pull the whole thing out holy shit you might as well fix it I was actually messing with it for my next video. I was looking at wiring and stuff, but here we go. So we're gonna go and get the LED one in here. We'll pop in there just like so. We may have to tighten these down, just crimp them down just a little bit. That is kind of loose. So what I'm gonna go ahead and do, we'll go ahead and give it a little squeeze. Give it a little squeeze. Pop this sucker back in. Oop. There we go. Face it just a little bit that way. Close it up. Bam. Okay, so we got both lights set up with LEDs. So let's turn those on. Boom. So bright. There's so much difference. It's cheesy to say night and day, but I mean, I just can't tell you how much brighter these are. I mean, even the daylight. These guys are bringing on a difference of light in here. So, um, anyways, we're going to move to the floorboards. We're going to ch check those out and hopefully get those replaced with LED. And uh, I'm going to show you guys how to do it. All right, so I've done some investigating down here. And this is not a changeable light bulb. Uh, it's actually got a board back here. So it's actually got its own LED on the circuit board. So there's nothing to plug into. It's literally mounted on this board. Um, with the two solder joints, solder joints, excuse me, um, but yeah, I don't think we're going to be able to brighten it up anymore on the floorboard, which is fine. I'm just wanting to do any and all LEDs that I can find. Um, the next one we're going to go ahead and look into doing is the center console. So, um, right here, my light went out, so I can't see if I'm in part, drive, neutral, whatever. Um, so we're going to go ahead and take care of this one, take a look at it, get the bulb changed on it, and then go from there. And I actually have the halogen replacement bulb if the LED doesn't work. So far, this whole thing comes loose. Um, it's like a skin. See how it's just popping? 
So this is like a skin that's kind of over this. I clearly can't go anymore. Let's see. There we go. So that's really cool. Um, let me get some of this crap out of my dash, and then that way we can um, go further. All right. Now that your Jeep is in park and you get it in like neutral and you pulled your e-brake there is a little wire that goes on to the underside all you have to do is barely just give this thing just a little twist and this little light pops out so um there's a little bitty bulb in here it does look blown so we're going to go ahead and replace this little guy let me show you what we have as far as replacements go these are the led these are the halogen, so it's the uh, 2721. So we're going to go and try the LEDs, and if the LEDs don't work, we'll just go with a halogen light. So it's not really going to break my heart. Um, these lights have been out. It, I know I know where I'm putting it in gear, but it's just one of those things where it doesn't work, and I would like it to work. So One more little side note, if you have a screwdriver, Stick it down inside there and prop this sucker up so that way you can dive down there and work. So, um, yeah, that definitely helps because it's really, really, really awkward to get down in there. Oh my god. That's so hard to get out. So let's go ahead and try the um, LED. I'm just going to stick it down in there. The LED ones. Go ahead and open this up. Um, I hope they work. If it doesn't, you know, I got the original one. It looks pretty big, though. It's kind of hard to see. It's kind of bright. I'm just going to get this sucker in here. Plug right in. Flick of the lights. Nothing. some live so yeah they've got some prongs that are on there if it's not seated right on there you know they said you know take it out and adjust it and put it back in you know they, they kind of tell you that it's not going to be you know easy and these themselves you know they have little metal wi wires on them as well and if they don't seat right you know they're not going to work either so let's go ahead and let me lift this back up and get this wire back in and let's see if we have some lights. Yeah, one little rattle and that's gonna fall out. Let's see. Yay! We got it. Everything can be pushed back down. Um, there are other lights underneath here. Um, in this console, and it's got lights behind it, but um, I don't think so. From what I've read, um, this console you know, it has a light in here, but um, as far as the light in the back and the ones down here in the cup holders, um, they are actually built in on a board as well, and they are wired to a um, Molinex plug. There's a lot to it, so I just wanted to see if I could just change as many of these bulbs in here as possible it's it's one of those things where um it's something you don't have to do it's something that you can do uh, i had a burnt out bulb now i can actually see park reverse neutral drive which is cool um i need to get my jeep back in two wheel drive here we go um but as far as you know redoing all these with leds it really wasn't that hard um, the last thing we're going to do is we're going to be here, we're going to look at the blinker. I want to show you what happens. That way you guys know if you do go with LED, this could be a problem. Um, you, they say you can do a um, big resistor, I guess. It's so it'll um, basically slow down the electrical current, I guess. But it's, it's just too much, way too much. So I'm probably just going to put the halogen bulbs back in. So let's go and put on the blinker, and I'll show you guys what happens. Okay, so... Blinker on, hey, we're going good, it's blinking, and all of a sudden, rapid fire. So 
So that's what happens. You really can't tell a difference. I mean, I can't. Um, this one's a, it's a smidge brighter. There's, there's no point in going through all this trouble for it to be a smidge brighter. I'm just going to put the halogen back in like this one and be done with it. So they were like, I think they were like nine bucks or eight bucks. So it really wasn't that expensive. Um, but yeah, the cab's going to be brighter. Um, there has been people do LEDs up here. I don't ever use these lights, so it's not really going to matter. But I really can't wait to show you guys what I'm going to be doing back here. So, have you guys ever seen the lights that go across here? That's going to be in the next video. So, stay tuned, guys. Thank you for joining me today. I'm Brett. Thanks for watching Jeep TV. Peace out. Take care. Alright, guys. It's not time. Here we go. makes a big big difference real quick guys um, sorry for the inconsistency in videos but um, between the weather the rain this winter I'm talking when I say every day it rains every single day here it literally does um, as you can tell I'm standing in the place where um, my red Jeep used to be um, I didn't sell it we moved it um, so it's out of here now and I can, I can start on some other videos and, and projects for the Jeeps and not freeze my butt off or get rained on. Um, also congratulations to my wife. She's been going through her master's program, um, in education. You know, she's a teacher, but as far as that goes, um, you know, it's really hard to have two kids and a family and her having to do stuff every night and I've been taking care of the kids not to like pat myself on the back but I really want to just say congratulations to my wife she's been a awesome mom teacher student like for the past year um, but it's been really really hard and she's finally graduating so um, and that, that's basically the whole slow up of me getting to do um, Jeep time videos Jeep TV videos so um, as far as that goes, hopefully we're going to be back on schedule doing one a week, every week, or more. So, um, thanks for the viewers, the new viewers. Thank you so much, guys. That's It's awesome. We're at 1,500 now, plus, and growing. Um, I know that doesn't seem very large, but, I mean, it's, it's just one of those things where, you know, I was throwing some videos out there. And um, I wanted to do it for me. I love doing videos. Um, I'm going to constantly get... Better. I'm going to change things up, maybe try a few different things, but for the most part, I want to be me, um, and I'm going to bring you guys as much content as possible. You know, I do not have unlimited funds. I want to try to do as much as possible. Um, things that people want to do to their Jeeps, you know, for the looks and for, you know, on the trails too. So I'm not just going to be the guy who's doing these big beef axle swaps and stuff like that. Um, I don't have the funds and I don't really see my build going that way yet. Um, as far as like steering, um, you know, more lift stuff, that, those are things that we can do down the road and that I'm looking forward to doing. So stay tuned guys, we got a lot going here. Um, we got the Dirty Turtle, Southern Comfort, got a lot of new viewers and I appreciate everything. Peace out guys.